I'm Wolf, and this is Whiskey Gulpin. What I'm going to do in each episode of this is open a fresh bottle of whiskey, then pour myself a shot, give you some reactions based on nose and mouthfeel and finish. And then once I've had that shot, I'm going to gulp some whiskey. So let's get started. What I have today is a 750 milliliter bottle of Ballantine's Finest. Let's read the bottle. Ballantine's Finest is a Scotch whiskey of outstanding quality. Using only the finest malt and grain whiskeys, the result is unique, smooth, and elegant. Now, this is an entry level blended Scotch whiskey, so we're not expecting the world, but we are expecting some good taste. Ballantine's is part of the same company as Chivas Regal. Uh, Chivas Brothers. Uh, its parent company is Pernod Ricard, and they own a lot of great malts. Let's get to tasting this. First, that beautiful sound of the opening bottle. That lets you know this was fresh. And I have a shot glass. Okay. So the nose. Now that's a bright smelling nose to me. Certainly a good strong note of ethanol. Mmm, I'm sensing some phenolic that may be because there's some peated whiskeys in there. A good amount of fruit too. How is it in the mouth? So my first impression is oily. Again, that's probably some of that island whiskey in there. There's a bright flavor. There's a good sting of ethanol in the tongue. And as I swallow, towards the finish, certainly a good bit of warmth. Now there are no unmixed notes in here. Nothing that stands out as this doesn't belong in this blend. It is sweet. This is not particularly dry. Not a challenging blend. But certainly a delicious one. So that was your nose, your mouth, feel, and your finish. How does that shot go down? Goes down very easily. No strong reaction. It's a fine sipping whiskey. And now, let's make this show do what it says on the box. I have a little Jack Daniel snifter here. I hope Brown Foreman isn't going to be upset about the fact that I'm drinking somebody else's whiskey from this. Looks like we might have a special guest on the floor. Ah, uh, you know cat, you don't like whiskey. One of these days my cat's going to jump up on my lap on this. But every time I give him a sniff of whiskey, he knows to stay away from it. Yogurt's a different story. This is Whiskey Gulpin. Let's get gulpin. Now on the gulp, I do find the vapor gets caught in my nose and throat a little bit. But as you can see, it does go down quite smooth. I will probably go down quite smooth as well. Well, I'm going to have a fantastic evening thanks to this beautiful bottle of Ballantine's Finest. Hope you've enjoyed whiskey gulping. Gulp with me again sometime. We'll be trying several different types of whiskeys. And uh, in the comments section on this video, once you've subscribed to this channel, feel free to suggest any whiskey you'd like me to try gulping. And I will do that. Catch you later, next time on Whiskey Gulpin' with Wolf.